Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. The welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Hello, thank you very much for joining me once again for another lecture series in uh, dealing with assignment problem. Uh, today's lecture will have to deal with um, an example that has to do with we performing what we call row operation. Then we may have to do column operation so that for us to check whether we have attained optimal uh, assignment. If not, we may need to do further operation on our matrix for us to get the assignment that we need to, to do. Remember, the whole idea of doing assignment model or assignment problem is to achieve as many zeros as possible in the matrix so that you can you can join the lines and join the zeros with lines and achieve the optimal uh, optimum uh, assignment. Let's look at this example that we have today. Uh, we have four um, employees here. Um, these are the employees on this side. And we have projects one, two, three, four. And the employees are A, B, C, and D. Now, the costs of um, assigning the employees to these projects are represented in this um, matrix. The first thing we do in doing our row operation is to identify the minimum of each row. In this case, look closely. What's the minimum of this row? Minimum is 300. The minimum on this row is 400. The minimum on this row is 350. And the minimum on this row is 350. So we now have to do what we call the row operation. The row operation has to do with we will deduct it the minimum from itself and all the other members of the same row. So in doing that, I'm going to repeat my column this way. And I'm going to have 300 minus 300 will give us zero. This will give us 25. That's 20, 320 minus 300 will give us 25. 500 minus 300 will give us 200 and then the next one will give us 50. 400 minus 400 will give us zero. 525 minus 400 will give us 125. 575 minus 400 will give us 175. And 600 minus 400 will give us 20. I trust you know what we're doing. We're deducting this minimum value from itself and all the others. The next one is 350. 350 minus 350 will give us 0. 400 minus 350 will give us 50. 600 minus 350 will give us 250. Okay, 250. Then um, 500 minus 350 will give us 150. And then we have 350 at the minimum. 350, 400 minus 350 will give us 50 here. This will give us zero. 450 minus 350 will give us 100. And then 350, 450 minus 350 will also give us 100. All right, we've completed our, um, our row operation. We check very closely. Do we have any column? After we've done this row operation, we ask the question, is there any column without a zero? In this case, we have three zeros here, so we don't have to do any operation on this. How about this one? This one has one zero, so zero becomes the minimum. Even if you zero minus zero, it's the same thing. But we have two columns here that do not have zero, so we have to create zeros there in those columns. To do that, 
it will mean that we identify the minimum of each column and deduct it from itself and all the members of this column. So I'm going to put a minimum here, down here. I'm going to put minimum. So we already have a minimum of zero here. We have a minimum of zero here. What's the minimum here? Can you look closely? What's the minimum here? 100. The minimum is 100. And here, what's the minimum of this column? Minimum is 50. 50 is the minimum. So what we're going to do is that we're going to deduct these values from each column. So I'll come up here and um, write column operation. Column so in writing the column and doing the column operation, um, we have to write our columns again. One, two, three, four. And so the first column will remain the same. Zero, 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 and 50. The second column is 25. One, 25, 50, and zero then the next column remember we are going to deduct 100 from itself and the others so that we have 100 at the first one 75 150 and then zero then the last one will be to have uh, 50 being the minimum so we have zero 150 150 minus 50 will give us 100 and then 100 minus 50 will give us 50. So this is what we have as our um, column operation. Now what we now do, having achieved this, is to try to cover as many zeros as possible and see whether we can have up to four lines. The number of lines that cover all the zeros should be equal to the square matrix. So in this case, um, I'm going to let's look at this. One line will cover all the zeros. This one, all right. Another line will cover these two zeros to this point, and another line. You either pick this one. Another line is touching this. So this is how far we can go. Now, some person may say, ah. Uh, why are we why can't we just make one two three four lines and we have four um, lines covering the zeros and then we can go to sleep well you can try that but i've actually tried that before to realize that if you just did this you will not be able to assign um employee b and c because there's there are competing zeros here you will not be able to assign um and jobs for them and projects for them to do so and that will defeat the purpose of the assignment um, model so what we now do in order to in order to uh, solve um, this problem is to find out and um, all what we now do next is that in the, we will call this a further operation that's my own term, yeah. And in doing this, let me come to this side. In, in doing this, we will identify all the elements that are, um, all the elements that are uncovered in the matrix. All the elements that are uncovered in the matrix. In this case now, look at, look at this closely. These elements, that are uncovered in a matrix, which is the minimum, as we can see here. You can see that the minimum value is 50. What we now do is that we are going to deduct 50 from itself and all the other elements. Then we'll add 50 to any value that has the intersection, whereas all the others will remain the same. I will repeat it. Identify the element that is minimum in advance the element that is uncovered amongst the uncovered elements in the table. The minimum you deduct the minimum from itself and all the others, then you add that value to the values at the intersection 
then all the others will remain the same. That's what I'm going to do here. So, and that will give us one, two, three, and and uh, and four. So that we're going to have 50 here. We're going to have 50 to this. This becomes um, so this becomes 50. Um, 25 will remain. 100 will remain. Will not touch that. And zero will remain. Now zero, zero will remain. 50 to 100 will make it. We we'll add this, but then we will maintain the lines. So when we are done, all right, then we will now have zero again. Zero, zero, and 50 will remain. We now want to deal with this element here. So 50, 125. I mean, if 125 minus 50 will give us 75. And then this will be 25, and this will be 100. Remember, I'm deducting 50 from this element. And then we're going to have 0 here. 50 minus 50 is 0. 150 minus 50 will give us 100. And then 100 minus 50 will give us um, 50. Now, the lines that we had earlier, no, the next thing that we now cover as many lines as we can now. So in this case now, we know that one line will cover this here. One line will go across to cover that. Another line will go across to cover these two lines. We can either go this way or go this way to cover the line. So this one line will not cover to touch this. So from here, you're seeing that we have achieved four lines at the end of the day to cover our the number of square matrix that we're having. So we have one, two, three, and then four. So once we have achieved this, we can now check for our optimum assignment. So let's be right here. Optimum assignment. Since we have achieved four lines. So to do that, what you do to know where you are going to assign each employee to, where you are going to assign each employee, look out for the ones, first of all, that are just having zeros in the column without any competition. Look up here. Like, look at assignment A. It's having a zero here. There is no competing zero on this column. So we can easily assign A to what? Project 4. Assign project A, I mean, assign A to project 4. There's no competing zero there. Now let's look at another one. Do you have any other one that do not have any competing zero? Look at D, employment, I mean employee D. There is no competing, um, there's no competing um, person there. There's no competing project on this column. So we assign project D, I mean we assign employee D to project three. So that we now have D to three. That's what we have. Then look at project C. Project C is there's there are two zeros here, but we have already assigned this to this. So naturally, um, naturally um, the employee C will be assigned to two. Since three have been three have been taken, we are assigned to two. So C will go to as I am to two. And then B, since B, there's nothing competing here. We have shifted C to B. So B will now take what? Um, project 1. So, so we're going to have 4, 1, 2, and 3 in the assignment. I trust you remember how I, the, the basis for assignment. Look for the zeros that are, that are not having any competition. You assign in the columns. After that, you now make compromise for either one that are having two or three um, zeros and then you assign appropriately. So after we've done this, we need now need to do our costing. In the costing now, for project A, B and C, we go back to the original table to now know what this cost will be. So for A, A we said A will be assigned to project four. So that will be 350 on this side. B will be assigned to project 1. B will be assigned to project 1. 
and that is 400 here. C, we are assigned to project 2. C, we are assigned to project 2, and that is 400 again. Then D, we are assigned to project 3. D, we are assigned to project 3, and that is 450. Okay? So if you add this up, what would that give us? Or what would that give us? Um, 450. Um, this is already for this uh, 800. If you take 50 to this, this is 400. That would be 1,600. 1,600 naira in your own country. It can be dollar. You know, it can be any value that you choose. So this is dealing with the assignment model in this question. I want to I want to advise that you go through this video again. Go through it over and over. If you have any question, please, I would like to hear from you in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel. We'll be having more examples on assignment problem coming up very soon. God bless you.